Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. For today's video, we're going to be decorating and cleaning for fall. I'm also preparing the house for my fiance's daughter. She will be spending a week with us. I'm starting off in the garage, going through some bins and trying to find my fall decor. They were mixed in with Christmas decor, but I just looked around and grabbed what I needed. I did end up putting up the wreath. I don't think I showed you guys that in this video, but I did end up putting that on the door outside. But yeah, I'm just getting everything out that I can use and then we're gonna get started. You're gonna see throughout this video my cat, Flash. If you guys are new here, I have a cat. His name is Flash. He's just so cute. I never get tired of how cute he is. It's like every day I wake up and I see him or he does something cute and I'm like just in awe all over again. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. We're starting out in the living room first. I'm going to be rolling the rug up, vacuuming and mopping under there as well as under the couch and the TV stand. Just everywhere kind of in the living room area. I want everything to be nice and clean. These are the sticky traps that I have for bugs that come through the window. You guys saw in the last video, I replaced them. The last ones had a bunch of bugs on them as well, but this will be the last of these sticky traps for the season. I'm hoping that in these cooler months, there won't be as many bugs.
I like getting behind the furniture to make sure that everything is clean and there isn't a bunch of dust laying around, especially now that I have a cat. He is always losing his mice under the furniture, especially the couches. And that one couch that I was just moving, he actually goes under, under that really small crack to get his mice every time they fall under there. So because he's always under the furniture, I want to make sure that it's clean. Walking hand in hand on the ocean floor Down deep we wonder Louder we sing, no there is no cure In this together Oh and also I was showing you guys this candle that I have It's so cute, we got it at a flea market And I haven't burned it yet I feel like it's too pretty to burn So I just kind of have it as decor But yeah, I'm just putting away my summer candles And putting out this pumpkin spice fall candle Flash jumped up on the couch as soon as I put out these little pumpkins. It is the cutest thing ever and I can't believe I caught it on video. Here I am taking pictures of him like the cat mom that I am. I'm not 
I had to roll the rug up again because I realized that I forgot to mop the floor under it. So that's what I'm doing here now. As you guys may have probably noticed from the last video as well, I did end up moving his food back to that little area. I had told you guys that I moved everything into the garage, but I moved it back in because I was noticing that I was having a lot of flies in his litter box. I figured maybe it's the environment, you know, maybe the garage is too damp. So I brought everything in and since then it hasn't been as bad. There aren't what feels like hundreds of flies in his litter box anymore. So his food is by that little area in the living room and his litter box is now in the office room. I'll be showing you guys that a little later in the video. I'm tackling the kitchen now. I'm just putting everything back in its place that is on the countertop. I don't know why, but this countertop gets cluttered so often and so quickly. I have no idea why. But yeah, I'm just putting everything back where it goes. And as you can probably tell, Flash is following me around. And I feel bad because I'm going in a million directions all at once and I feel bad that he's following me because you know as soon as I get to one spot I'm going somewhere else and he just doesn't get it he just continues to follow me it's the cutest thing Now that the floor has dried, I'm going back in the living room and putting the rug down and then I'm going to be tackling that second couch.
It's time to unload and load the dishwasher. Is it just me or are the dishes never ending? I feel like I can never catch a break when it comes to dishes. Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute I'm high on slow dancing with you One, two, three, keep it going, last forever All blacked out, then flying with you I don't care that my mind's gone insane And my heart will burst into flames No, I don't care about the heart I didn't put this cutting board in the dishwasher. I found that ever since I've been putting it in the dishwasher, it's been starting to split in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I definitely would not recommend putting your cutting boards in the dishwasher. going to be tackling all the surfaces in the kitchen starting with the stove. I'm going to move everything from the counters, wipe down under it, and then we're going to vacuum and mop the kitchen. I like to do this before I vacuum because usually there's a lot of crumbs on the counters and when I'm wiping them everything gets tossed to the floor so that way I can vacuum everything up all at once instead of vacuuming and then cleaning the counters and having the floors dirty again. So that's a great tip I have if you guys didn't know. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's something that I've noticed that I do in my routine.
This is Flash's litter box in the office room. I'm just going to be cleaning it out. I only scooped it on this day, but the very next day I did get rid of everything and hose it down outside with some dish soap. I'm not sure why I didn't do it on this day. I think I was just feeling lazy to go hook up the hose and everything. It makes a huge mess in the house. I put this rug there so that when he comes out, he can wipe his paws a little, you know, when he's walking through it. That way it won't track stuff all over the house, but I'm finding that it's still causing a little bit of a mess. So if any of you guys have cats and you have any tips or tricks for me when it comes to the litter box and keeping it nice and clean, please let me know because within like five minutes, this area was messy again. I mean, obviously not as bad because I had left it like this for a few days. Normally, I do scoop his litter box every day. I think I just got comfortable because when the litter box was in the garage, it was attracting so many flies. And in the office room, it doesn't have any flies really, maybe one or two, but I think I just got comfortable with that and was being a little lazy with it. But usually, I scoop the litter box every single day. No, no, no. The way you make it, make it. 
arms around me like a borderline Our fortress in the jungle, baby, we are right We don't care much for people like them We don't care much for people like them But I lay on my mind, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown, world and high This is our bedroom. I'm just going to be making the bed, vacuuming, mopping, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to go into the other bedroom. I'm getting that one ready because, like I said, my fiance's daughter is going to be spending a week with us. So I just wanted to get the room ready for her since she'll be here in a few days. Better balconies and bathtubs, what you want. 
I was messing around with the throw pillows and this giant bear and I could not get it to look the way I wanted to so I just put the bear away in the end and I don't know I'll probably just give it to her when she gets here but it just wasn't working out it just wasn't looking cute on the bed so we had to put him away for now
I put this gift basket together for her and got her a coloring book and a drawing pad. But that is it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.